So one of the things I love about K-pop groups is how normal and natural it seems for the members to debut as solo artists while still being in a group. Blackpink is the biggest K-pop girl group at the moment and the biggest pop girl band in general. So naturally, when members of Blackpink get to release their own solo material, it is always quite an event. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the solos of Jenny, Rosé and Lisa. In the meantime, still waiting for Jisoo and rank them in a few different categories. The video is more of an analysis and a review rather than a ranking itself, so there's absolutely no need to get defensive about any of my choices. For the record, I don't think that any of Blackpink's solos are bad, to be honest. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. First, we're gonna be talking about these songs, just songs themselves, and how much sense Solo, On The Ground and Alisa make in the context of each member. Because I think there's no point in separating those songs from their performers, especially in Blackpink's case, where each member has a very distinctive, recognizable presence and style. So, number three. The first verse features some graceful, conversational vocals, accompanied by soft instrumentation and finger snaps. Setting a more melancholic and reflective tone. The song progresses nicely in the pre chorus with amplified, layered vocals, percussion, and stronger instrumentation. Jenny's vocal delivery becomes more rough and pugnacious as well. And of course, the iconic chorus. that helps to bring more sass and energy. It's super simplistic but effective, with strong bass and funky, high-pitched synth notes on top of it. Solo conveys the message of individualism, finding your inner strength, and coming through the other side after a breakup. The song successfully captures the duality of Jenny as a performer. Solo, for the most part, is a good listen, but it has its low points. Firstly, Jenny's rapping solo is far from memorable or impactful, but Solo's biggest sin it is its final chorus. It sounds horrible. It feels empty, unoriginal, and lazy. It really seems like at that point Teddy ran out of creativity because this is almost offensive. I'm not saying it ruins the song, but it surely takes away from the listening experience. And the fact that it comes after a great bridge is even more upsetting, to be honest. <laughs> Jenny deserved better. Number two. Lalisa, 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 catch me if you can. The most recent release. Lalisa is one of those songs that you absolutely cannot separate from the performer. And rightly so, it's called Lalisa for a reason. In Blackpink, Lisa is the member of versatility and the unexpected. She's the wild card and a secret weapon of the group. Lisa does it all because she can and she does it well. She's an ace and a stylistic chameleon. And the song recognizes Lisa's strengths and fully capitalizes on them. Lalisa takes a few turns, switching between different styles and sounds. Although the composition may come off as chaotic and almost messy at first, it actually fits Lisa like a glove. This song is unpredictable, ambitious and challenging, bursting with youthful passion and energy. I can't think of any other idol who could do this song more justice than Lisa did. Lalisa offers more than Solo and musically tells us more about Lisa than Solo does about Jenny. Number one. Everything I need is on the ground. On the ground trust Rosé and her voice. Her emotive, dynamic and detailed vocals become the medium for the song's lyrics. On the ground establishes Rosé as a singer who not only hits the right notes, but also is a great emoter. The song is very much intact with Rosé. To me, it feels the most authentic out of Blackpink's solo so far. It is mellow, moody, reflective, melancholic, but celebratory and triumphant at the same time. On the ground is wrapped with acoustic guitar, soft percussion, light fresh electronic notes, clear harmonies and background vocals. The 
more production heavy covers helps this song gain momentum and add drama to the composition. The bridge is absolutely wonderful, I love it. Overall, I do believe On The Ground deserves its spot here. Moving on to the music videos. The third spot. Everything I need is on, the ground. on The Ground is objectively a very pretty video. However, it doesn't seem to fully know what it wants to be. And when it gets somewhere, there's not much time left for it to go anywhere. Yes, the video touches on the dynamic between Rosé as an artist and Roseanne, a person. It shows us Rosé getting re-inspired by Roseanne's dreams, passion and optimism. This scene is the heart and an absolute highlight of this video, but I wish we could get some more build up to it. There definitely was a story to be told, but the director and the editor spent way too much time making sure we know that Rosé is beautiful, which yeah, I already know because I have eyes, thank you. This story becomes confusing and kind of gets lost somewhere between all these objectively gorgeous shots, which unfortunately, ultimately do very little to elevate the video. The second spot, Lalisa, 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 catch me if you can. the editing and sets used in Lalisa scream, this is a music video. The video is very cohesive with this song. Since the song itself jumps around different sounds and styles, so does the video, playing with different sets and visual tones. The colors are vibrant and saturated, the editing is lively, slightly chaotic, but not too overbearing. Lalisa kind of feels like an exclusive, over-the-top performance. Lisa commands the stage with her confidence and strong, unwavering presence, looking directly at us through the camera lens in almost every shot. Number 1 Okay, I'm so excited to talk about this one. Where Solo Force showed as a song, the music video makes up for it. It really knows what it's doing. Solo is by far the most cinematic out of the three videos here in terms of storytelling and composition. The shots are long, allowing us to really see what's going on on the screen and get invested into the storyline. The transitions are very clean, the camera work is minimal. All of this makes Solo flow easily and smoothly, no matter what's going on on the screen. The cinematic editorial vibe combined with some of Jenny's signature visual elements, like luxurious design of fashion and colors which include simple, chic whites, blacks, deep blue, shades of red, creates a very strong and well-defined visual identity. Let's quickly go through the lyrics. None of these songs have particularly strong, complex, deep lyrics. I am not saying that they have to have them, but still. They're pretty straightforward, not very poetic, minimal in the use of poetic devices. They're functional, often kinda cliche, they carry the tune well and can even be pretty memorable in places. The iconic play on words in solo, or Being the greatest of all time in fantasy. On the ground's lyrics may come off as the most touching and personal, mostly to its more reflective overall tone. Rose is also credited as a co-writer of this song. Although it is impossible to tell how much contribution she actually had to the lyrics, her contribution may be the reason why On the Ground feels a little closer to heart. My favorite lines have to be Funny when you want it, suddenly you have it, you find out that your gold is just plastic. And I worked my whole life just to get right, just to be like, look at me, I'm never coming down. On the ground's lyrics aren't exceptionally artistic, they surely leave something to be desired, however, they give us something to dive a bit deeper into. Like I said earlier, I don't think any of Blackpink's solo is bad. Just like the members themselves, they have different strengths and assets. Jenny's solo may be the most memorable solo so far, while my personal favorite is Rosé's On The Ground. Well, of course, things may change when Queen Jisoo debuts her solo material, but for now, Rosé is my favorite. I need to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of this. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and having some hopefully respectful discussions. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, see you in my next one. For now, bye guys.